Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco What's up guys, Rich Gamer 997 here tonight. We're back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. What's your take on the man? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. We'll see how he does in this one. Come on. O'Neal getting this started. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Bouncing up the middle. Oh, nice diving stop, but he's still. Neil got too much speed. Too much speed. Right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Lead off hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. Gene Segura. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Why is he being stopped running? Yeah, the game is fucking broken. The shit won't let me stop running. Like, what the hell? He just continue running. Without touching anything. Mighty Goat and have 2,000 power and shit just to hit a home run. Even when you put a good swing on the ball, this so shit don't go no further than the warning track. He flew out in his last AB. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this uh, guy's big power. That was too early on. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to... score tonight. Philadelphia came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Archie Bradley earns the victory in Archie the Bradley. seventh of the year. Edwin Diaz wraps it up for the save, his 46th. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. The locals call the well-known fog layer Carl here in San Francisco, and he's rolling in now <coughs> over Oracle Park. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. Richard O'Neill, the league's leading hitter, continues his march toward the National League batting crown. Next. 
Anthony Banda, a Texas born left hander, gets the starting nod. Banda. And please, Zach, what's the word? You are terrible. But we usually end up losing the guys like this that has like a really shitty pitching. He minimizes the amount of base mm. runners. He's a tough customer. Digging in next, Richard O'Neill as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Even though he's batting right handed in this particular bat, this guy swings it from both sides of the plate. Wow. The numbers pretty much the same across the board. A terrific hitter right handed in this at bat, but if you try to switch this guy around for a little. So now to the plate, Tommy LaStella. Batting third. The second game. Wheeler's 0-2. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. O'Neill is there, two gone. Shit, you can't fucking get a hit. Stepping in next, Richard O'Neill flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With what the fuck? Power, he's That's good swing good. timing. Why the fuck is the ball going to fucking right field? Center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. Four, four. Hit the base. Yeah. Wait on that thing. Next to dig in, Richard O'Neill, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen oh, it's a fucking gap shot. Make the turn. Make the that on a plate to go ahead run and maybe another? Uh, close to being a gap shot. I'm going to cut it off. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Now it'll be Kyle Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. Now a flare out toward right center. In comes Slater. He can't get to it. This one's down. Get out, get out, flat. And a from third scores to give them a very important insurance run. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy. Oh. Instead of going in a one run game where every pitch is caught that ball. shit. One pitch away it's too the late by then to go back. <laughs> Stepping in once again is Franklin Lamore. Oh for two from him so far in this one. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. Your attention, please. Still putting for the W. Number 22. Louis. Swing and a little blooper to center. Lopez onto the grass. He's got it. A great running play. And So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. Lead off man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Here's the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. 
for d -roll when you're starting to swing it like this team. Three. Digging in will be Richard O'Neal. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches. Way late on that shit. Maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The 0-1 lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the running play. Wow. Two down. <clears throat> finish in tonight's affair. The Phils jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Wheeler records his 14th winning decision of the season. Edwin Diaz closes the door for the save, his 47th of the campaign. Saturday night baseball here on the show from Oracle Park in San Francisco. Tonight it's the third of this four game weekend series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. Richard O'Neill, the league's leading hitter, continues his march toward the National League batting crown. Next. Logan Webb will be the man on the mound for the G-Men. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season, and what shows me that? Now into the box, Richard O'Neill. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. First pitch on its way. Hit hard towards center. Round it, fight ball, round it, round it. So he picks up another hit first of the game but as we've mentioned it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah Matty I know he's fighting for a batting title right now but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door you know exactly what you're getting from him. A fly ball well hit. Going back is Slater. Work hard, work hard, work hard. Come on, go hard. You're scoring. Go hard. And a relay home. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's gonna score. The way that he friggin' stood, I thought he was gonna catch the ball. That's why I held up at second. But since I realized it hit off the wall, and it hit off the wall. And and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. Misplayed it where he was going to go. When they hit the wall. Uh, to get home. Because O'Neal got nothing but speed to burn. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time, and the side is retired. Giants down in order. They're down two to nothing. Ball four, big yeah. Now the Giants' number four batter, Marcus Semyon. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. O'Neal is right there, one down. Now to back, Jake Shiner, runner in scoring position with the Jumped a little bit too early. We 
when you're facing an elite starter, you know rooms are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence. Mm, now it's not looking at it. <laughs> it just looked too close. <laughs> and now here is Richard O'Neill. He singled the first time up. Now here's the pitch. Fly ball right down the line. Ah, late swing. Mirakami is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Late swing. Next up is Richard O'Neill. He flew out in his last debut. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, way too early. Crushed it just way, way too early. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Oh, I went right second. back to him. Second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Wow. And now, Richard O'Neill. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Weak roller right side. And the throw to first is in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Next to stand in is Richard O'Neill, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Maddie. <laughs> oh, that's a bullshit. <laughs> Power swing. Power swing goes nowhere. Like, I don't know why they even bother putting a fucking power swing button on the game. They should just delete power swing contact swing. Niggas, like, them bitches don't fucking work. Well, unless you're a mighty goat. Mighty goat is the only one who can use power swing to hit 20 home runs a game. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you with... And that will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Richard O'Neill. Mixed results for him in the series. Three for 14. Oh, I got underneath that one. It's way underneath it. Under it, and he makes the catch for out. Up next, Richard O'Neill. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the first pitch. Runners going. Sent in the air out to straight Oh my god, man. That's such a good ball to hit. That just like has no fucking power. Like what the fuck? Like sometimes you play this game and you hit a bunch of home runs, and sometimes you play this game and it's like your guy is the weakest motherfucker in there that you created. Even with all the fucking diamond equipment you spent your money buying and put on them. Next, it'll be Richard O'Neill. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. Everything is going to fucking center field, man. Hey, what the fuck? Try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this Straightaway center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Like, what the hell? Why? Because he played in center field? All the balls you hit goes to center field? Man, this is just nuts. Three. No matter if you swing early or late, all the fucking balls always end up in center field. <clears throat> He'll 
dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so oh, difficult man. to hit from both sides of the plate, but his eyes light up when he's hitting left-handed against the right. He's out Damn, I'm surprised with a good swing that that ball went there, even though I waited on it. And that they went, I'm surprised it didn't go to center field. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a bad yeah, time. Waited right on now, that the one. Consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting. Right. I hope San Diego Studios, man, I hope they do something better next year. They're pissing too many people over this fucking game. They're trying to turn this shit into Madden. I think a lot of these game manufacturers forget about the enjoyment part of a game. Yeah, some people want games to be challenging and hard. That's those idiots. Let them play that game. They, that's why they put difficulties in that shit. But at the same time, you still got to make the game enjoyable. Even if you put it on the level that you were supposed to enjoy the game on and everything is just fuckery, it ain't going to be enjoyable. Go hard, just go hard, go hard. Wait. Get there and he puts it away to retire. Stepping up to the plate, Mauricio Dubon. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Last strike here for the Giants. Ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and the Phillies make it six straight victories now as this one is over. You can just see that the confidence oh. is radiating off of them out there right Swept now. Swept San Francisco at home. And this looks like a train that's not so first. to down anytime <laughs> soon. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. Philadelphia jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Zach Eflin earns his I think we just left them because they never talk the about the sweeping. Uh, I don't remember if we lost the game or not. I can't fucking remember. Who knows? Sometimes this game will sit you out of the game and you'll lose. You won't even know. But you won't even know that you missed the game until you go back and check and be like, oh shit, I didn't play this game. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. If you guys enjoy this video and you love your girl to death, make sure to drop a like on it. If you love your moms, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask if you choose to. Most important of all, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful night. Peace. Our day, morning, whatever you want to call it. Early morning. Since it's after midnight.